Hello again. Night time. Um, some guy asked me about from Iran. Thank you from Iran. Uh, best wish to Iran. Um, he asked me how I keep my algae. Uh, the thing is, the algae is coming. Normally not from the light. The algae is coming in a tank from the phosphate. Well, if the phosphate is too high, then coming the algae is in your tank. So how I keep my phosphate low? Like phosphate normal, keep low, uh, good filtration, um, and using Moroba Phos. Okay, Moroba Phos would keep your phosphate low. But um, now I, I don't have Zoom, so what I do is sometimes when I have my phosphate higher, I test it every Sunday, the phosphate level. I uh, put them here in the place. With, uh, with the back, I put rubber foss in every day. I make a massage for the to the rubber foss and put it again there if my foss fat is high. But um, <clears throat> normal in my tank, I don't have big problems on phosphate. Why? I keeping I having a fast filter. This one in this I keep uh, have every day. I've, I change the the filter, filter mat material. And this helped me to keep the the phosphate and the nitrate level low. The problem is many times on the tanks, the people having not enough flow in the tank, and then you creating on the in the corners, creating um, uh, zones where where keeping the phosphate or the food that you put in or the, the things from the fish. It's not going to the fast filter. In my tank, it's not. I have a lot of a lot of uh, look on the top how far is my flow. And in the nighttime, I have 30 percent more flow. In the nighttime, is I have a really strong strong flow. This is very important for me or for the tank. On my experience, I make now reef tank about three years ago. So and now it's for this. So important is every every week. Check your level on the phosphate, make a heat test on the phosphate using HANA Checker 736, the phosphorus testing. And when you have on your HANA Checker zero, not this not will say that you don't have phosphate in your tank. You know, you have uh, there's more for uh, more um, phosphorus in your tank, you know. So then you can testing heating the water you keep your water from your tank you put into the microwave heating this to nearly 100 degrees then you put them out the, the test water from your tank out waiting about four or five minutes until the temperature from the reef water from your water is about 35 40 degrees and then you make the hana checker test then you can see more phosphate on your tank and this is the the key, or you make an EC pay, you know, uh, the, um, with from Triton or from ATI. For me, Triton and ATI is for me the best uh, uh, water analysis. I think in Iran, maybe you can, you, from Iran, you can send them easy to Germany or or to America. Okay, so the key is phosphate low, then you don't have problems with the algae. Algae, okay. This is the thing, and of course, you need. Look how many. I have snails, snails in my tank, about, I don't know, 30 snails, maybe I have 30 snails. In night time all are coming out, now it's, now it's only two lights on, you know, it's night time, coming out the snails. And of course the surgeon fish, but it's, the surgeon fish is for tanks from a little bit bigger for the space. Okay, you know, you can't do a surgeon fish in 200 liters, you need minimum, for me, in my opinion, minimum 500, 600 liters. Okay, so keep the phosphate low, 0 0.02 is the magic number, and uh, then you don't have problem with the algae. And carefully with the food, what you put for food on, I only, normally I only using frozen food, muesli, krill, and everything, and not a lot. Uh, I, I keep, I give the, enough for the fish, but not too much, you know. This is the thing, this is the other, uh, other, as a key to, to have the phosphate low. Okay, every day I've changed, or every two days I changed the fast filter. He helped me, or maybe you can install um, 
Cloudy C, you know, uh, a filter, and you, and you when you have a sump. Okay, so this is the key. Phosphate low with fast filter or Cloudy C uh, filter, and um, good skimmer, of course, and not so many food, and very good uh, flow, very, very good water flow in every place in the tank. This is one of the most important things. Okay? No flow or not enough flow or the construction from the reef is not good. Then the phosphate going up, up, up. And when you wait one month, it's not testing, it's too long. You can't wait one month to testing one time, one month the phosphate. Or you have a lot of experience, you see it in your corals, you know. Okay, so best wish to Iran and thank you for your comment. And um, thanks and see you in the next video. Bye bye.